just to make this point, to call the Republican legislature progressive or liberal, I just don't think is accurate. Okay? I'm just telling you on the context, on the scale, the legislature in Lansing is not liberal or progressive, which leads you wondering, then why do they do things like they do when they do it wrong? And that's what my job is today, is to try and tell you, give you this simple insight. And when I tell you, you're not going to find it hard to understand. You can't, you can't understand it now. But I'm going to tell you in a minute. I, I hope you didn't expect me to come here to criticize fellow legislators. That's why I said I'm one degree less reliable now that I've been there. And you should do everything. In fact, if you're serious, if you are serious and have not yet signed up for Ted's class tomorrow, this might be a wasted weekend if all you do is come get fired up and you don't learn what to do. I'm one of 110 people out of 10 million who conservative voters and donors trusted to go hold a position in Lansing and actually take advantage of the opportunity to actually do something about what we believe in. And two of our fellow conservatives drop kicked that opportunity. And I think solely in the name of their faith, and the Tea Party movement, the conservative principles in the process, and I was close to sending. That broke my heart. But we saw those two approaches this past year. You saw how one worked. And then on the other hand, I didn't know they offered it last time I was a freshman. I had bangs, but they made me Freshman Legislator of the Year. <laughs> and not because I compromised one millimeter on any principle because I champion free market principles in energy. So by standing up for what I believe in, out of 55 freshman senators and house members, they named me the freshman legislator of the year. So praise the Lord for that. I've been asked to tell you by Mary and others, specifically, how could what happened on the gas tax have possibly have happened? How do you explain that? How could the people of Michigan vote 80% no, a record rejection of the biggest tax increase in the history of Michigan in 50 years, and then the legislature turn around and raise taxes? In my district, I think I was one of the half dozen legislators in the state who actively went out and campaigned against it, had a town hall, spoke on TV all the time. 